Hello everyone, I'm McCartney Green and today is August 2nd, 2018. In the past few weeks, I have had three flash visions that I believe were messages from the Lord about the rapture. They were very strong and very clear. At first, I wasn't going to share them as I, th I thought that they were just for me but then I got the nudging to go ahead and share them. Still, I didn't want to unless I received a confirmation that they were from the Lord. Well, I did receive that confirmation, which I will tell you about at the end, as it had to do with the third vision. So now, let me tell you about the visions that I had. In the first vision, I was driving in a car and I pulled up to a stoplight. I sat there waiting for the light to turn for a few minutes and I wasn't really paying attention to the light turning green. So when it did, it sort of took me by surprise because I wasn't paying attention. So when the light did turn green, I didn't go right away. And then suddenly it was as if the light got very big, huge, right in front of the car and three words flashed in front of the light time to go. So that was the first vision. The colors were as bright and clear as these pictures are that I found to go with it. This was a vision and not a dream. I was awake and my eyes were closed. In the next vision, I saw a man blowing a shafar. And this second vision happened about a week after the green light vision. When the vision started, I didn't know the man had a shofar because I was standing very close to him and it like it wasn't in the frame yet. The man in my vision looked very similar to the man in this beautiful piece of artwork by Carol Spandau, an amazing Canadian artist. Only the man in my vision had an intricately braided gold head covering and his skin was gold and even his beard was gold. And he looked right at me as I was glancing up at him because I came up, to, you know, I was just under his chin and he glanced down at me and our eyes met and then he turned, put the shofar in his mouth and began to blow it. And that was all there was to the second vision. It was very short, but it had a deep impact on me and it sort of took my breath away. The third vision I had just a few days ago, it was all in black and white and there was a little girl with long blonde hair watching television. She suddenly became very distressed and I could see what she was seeing on the television. There was what looked like bombs exploding well, first it was just one large missile going up into the air, and then you could see there were bombs exploding in several different places. And then the little girl put her hands to her face to cover her mouth because she was so upset. And I looked at the television to see what she was seeing, and it looked as if the stars were all falling out of the sky. And I was really worried about the little girl, but then she did something strange. She smiled and she turned and she picked up a wedding veil and she placed it on her head. The veil was really pretty, even though it was simply made. It had a wreath of flowers, I think, or something decorative uh, as a wreath that went around her head. And then from that flowed just a thin single layer of the veil that covered her hair.
at the end of the vision, I could see the back of the little girl, like in this picture, only the girl had blonde hair and the veil was covering her hair and came to about the same length as her hair, just like that. Only the girl was still in front of the television. That was how the vision ended, except suddenly she wasn't there anymore. She disappeared. So I told you at the end, I would tell you how the Lord gave me confirmation that this was from him and that he indeed wanted me to share these visions with the rest of the world. After I had this third vision, I realized I'm having these visions and probably the Lord is nudging. I feel like he's impressing on my spirit that I need to share these with the world. And I told him that I wanted to make sure that they were coming from him and that I needed some kind of confirmation. And I was gonna make something up in my own head that he could do to confirm, but instead I asked him to give me the confirmation that he knows my heart and he knows that I would recognize it. And so after I finished this prayer that I was having, asking for confirmation, I left my room and I came out to the living room and my husband was watching one of the shows he likes to watch, which is The Price is Right. And this is the first thing I saw. This particular Price is Right show was a special one that had newlyweds on it, and it was a rerun from last Valentine's Day, apparently. And the very first thing I saw was this contestant wearing a wedding veil on her head. Brothers and sisters, God is real. Jesus is real. And I am just so grateful that I can say that. I'm so grateful that God did not give up on me when there was a time that it looked like I had given up on him. I'm so grateful to feel his presence in my life. Now, I'm new to all of this rapture stuff. Though I was a Christian, I didn't really know anything about the rapture until January of this year. I have been listening to all of you wonderful brothers and sisters on YouTube, you who are so faithful and you're so brave and you make yourself so vulnerable as you put your testimonies out there for the world. And I'm just so grateful for all of you. And I am hope that my visions will uplift you and make, uh, make you excited and help you in some way. I give my love to you all. Lift up your hearts in Jesus' name. Amen.